Before you're able to upload, you'll need to accept the terms of usage by clicking on this link here. This will open a new page and should prompt you with additional permissions our service requires in order to allow this application to upload your model. Scroll down and clicking on allow will give the necessary permissions for our synchronization service. You can exit out this window and head back to the iTunes Viewer page. The upload service accepts a file format called .obj, which is a common 3D model file format we can export directly from Minecraft. Once your files have been generated after export, open the File Explorer to your files and navigate back to your iTunes Viewer page. You'll notice the exporter generated three different file types, the .obj, which is our standard 3D object file format, a .mtl file, which provides mapping for the textures in your PNG files. You'll need all these files uploaded to get color on your structure. Just a quick tip, if you're on Microsoft Windows, you can use Microsoft 3D Viewer to preview the model before you upload. Here I'm using the 3D Viewer, but any OBJ visualizer will do. You'll notice the village I exported, and because I increased the minimum depth level to 5, you'll only see the buildings and not the ground level grass blocks. So if you see something wrong with your model, you can go back into Minecraft or the Mineways exporter, change the settings, and get what you want. Going back to the File Explorer, once you're happy with your model, you'll want to target all your files and simply drag and drop them into your browser. The upload can take up to 5 minutes depending on the size and traffic, but you can go ahead and take a break here. The page will automatically refresh once completed. So now that we have the file uploaded, the page should have refreshed and taken you to the next step, which is positioning your structure. You'll notice my model is a little too large for the Alcatraz Island and slightly floating above it, which is less than ideal. So let's fix that by positioning and adjusting accordingly. I'm going to click on the scale bar right here and lowering the size by a few factors using the arrow keys. I'm going to move it to the left of the x-axis by a few units and the y-axis up a bit. It's still floating just slightly, so I'm going to lower it with the z-axis here right onto the ground level. And just to make things a little more symmetrical, I'm going to adjust the rotation. And there we go. Our building right on top of Alcatraz Island. And once you're satisfied, you'll want to hit save, and it will save the position of your model.